Hell Creek, summer 2006. A rancher's made a startling discovery. Trapped in stone, a massive cache of bones comes to the surface. Piece by piece, they unearth the skeletons of two prehistoric giants. But they're in for a grisly surprise. At every turn, they uncover signs of violence, a fight to the death. The tangle of bones is so large, the team must break the massive 40-ton fossils into pieces to move them. Yeah, there it is, okay. Found on private land and then locked away in a warehouse, access to the controversial fossil is only granted to a select few scientists. And the only cameras permitted are in the hands of the owners themselves. But to understand what it all means, an expert is called in to conduct a virtual autopsy on the 67 million year old bones. I heard about them the summer they were first discovered. Bob Backer, the godfather of modern paleontology. I had been told ahead of time there was evidence that the carnivore and the horned dinosaur had killed each other. I did not believe that. You never believe that. That, yeah, no, that never happens. If you find teeth of a carnivore next to an herbivore, uh, those were shit carnivore teeth. Maybe from animals that scavenged the dead herbivore. But almost immediately, the case of the deathmatch fossil is different than anything he's seen before. I go there, I see these broken teeth. You can find the broken crowns embedded in the neck region of the horn dinosaur. Here's centrum, yeah. goes right here. Okay. And right there is the tooth. Really did look like you had animals that killed each other. But that's a break. He begins his investigation by examining the victim. Four tons, five tons, 10,000 pounds. Yeah. The horned dinosaur was ginormous, biggest one I've ever seen. It had perfect front feet, perfect back feet. This is fabulous. A massive plant-eating triceratops. The size of an African elephant, 10 tons of muscle and bone. An armored skull with enormous horns. This is not a creature you want to mess with. This is a scary hard target. The body is extremely compact. The hind legs are very strong and bent at the knees, which means it's getting some vertical component. It's got some three dimensionality. This animal could turn on a dime. This is a maneuverable tank, very heavily armed in the front. These long horns that would come out to about out to there, continuously growing. This is arguably one of the most dangerous land herbivores ever to evolve. But who could bring down a full-grown Triceratops? There seems to be only one possible killer. T-Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. Nine tons, a mouthful of 60 teeth the size of kitchen knives, jaws that can crush solid bone. This is the ultimate apex predator. Whoa. 